Hi right, guys, welcome back to Daggy's Toy Box. Dag back with you again. This time we're going to take a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Out of the Shadows toy line. Uh, as a whole, I do own most of this line. Enough, I think, that I can speak on it uh, collectively. Most of these figures I've already reviewed individually, so if you want to know more about any of these, uh, please check out those individual reviews. Uh, this video will be talking about the line as a whole and taking a quick look at each of the figures. So, uh, there were only two figures that I originally intended to purchase from this line, Bebop and Rocksteady. And they actually ended up being two of my favorites from the line. So, uh, like I said, Bebop here is definitely one of my favorite figures from this line. Uh, not too bad of an update on the character, not too far away from the original. And not a bad toy. Even though Bebop's one of my favorites, uh, if I had to complain about him, I suppose it would be that some of the plastic feels a little thin or a little cheap in some areas, specifically on his stomach here. Other than that, no real complaints on this figure. It's pretty good. Uh, once again, not a bad update to the character. Doesn't stray too far from the original. A decent update. And a pretty good action figure all around. Alright, another one of my favorite figures from the line is Krang. Uh, I did have some issues with this Krang, and I don't think it was just me. As you can see here, uh, one of Krang's eyes rubbed off almost immediately after opening the figure. Uh, and it can be a bit bothersome to stuff Krang inside the body there. But I think the sculpt and the design of the body looks pretty cool. And Krang's not too bad either. Uh, like I said in his individual review, I do wish he was a harder plastic. But there he is. I mentioned that uh, originally I only intended to buy Bebop and Rocksteady from this line. And that's mainly because I just don't care for the look of the Ninja Turtles in these films. Uh, to me it is quite the departure from uh, what I came up with. The original cartoon and toy line. And the uh, first two movies. But as far as action figures go in this price point. Michelangelo is not too bad, quality of plastic feels good, and articulation is very good as well. As far as looking like the on screen character, I think they did a pretty good job. However, I do think I prefer this uh, Michelangelo and pirate costume a little bit over uh, the one we just looked at. He's got some cool accessories even though I can't seem to get that parrot back on his shoulder. Uh, the hook here is pretty cool, and he has a telescope. Once again, quality feels pretty decent, uh, but as across the line as a whole, probably one quality complaint would be lack of paint apps. Uh, Alright, so now we come to Raphael in the wingsuit. Not too bad looking a figure, once again, not a fan of these uh, this design for the Ninja Turtles, but Raphael doesn't look too bad here. He does feature this button on his back which causes his arms to pop out there. The wingsuit actually detaches from him, which is good, which uh, it does hinder the articulation a little bit with it on. Feels pretty solid, not too bad a figure. Uh, I do plan to review the Leonardo and Stealth Disguise. Plans already have done that, but I ran across some Star Wars Black Series figures that I've been looking for for a while. So I had to put that Leo on the back burner, but hope to get to that soon. Next, we'll take another look at the Foot Soldier. Not too bad a design. Uh, definitely not the worst figure in the line. He comes with one sword and a sheath that stores on his back. Once again, good articulation. And not too bad looking of a figure. And now we come to Leonardo, leader of the Ninja Turtles. He comes with his katanas. Once again, good articulation. Sculpt is okay on this one. 
uh, you know, I'm uh, like I say, I'm biased because I don't care for the these new movie designs. But all in all, not a bad figure either. Ah, right, so here we have Casey Jones, and uh, you know he's pretty cool. He looks pretty decent. Uh, the mask is not removable, but that's okay with me. Not too bad for a basic human figure, and not a mutant. Casey Jones is definitely a very popular TMNT character. I uh, have not seen the movie yet. It just came out yesterday. Uh, but I really hope they do Casey Jones justice. And uh, last of the figures that I have in line so far is the Shredder. And a lot of people don't like this guy. But uh, I think he's pretty decent. Uh, he really grew on me. Uh, my complaint with him is he can be hard to stand. But... I like the look of this shredder. I think it doesn't look too bad. He has his uh, blade accessories there that pop onto his arms. They can be a little bit troublesome at sometimes with uh, keeping them to stay on. But other than that, I do like this shredder. Alright guys, so that's kind of my thoughts on the toy line. You know, the articulation across the line has been pretty good in my opinion, especially at this price point. Main complaint would probably be pain apps. I'm going to try not to uh, be too hard on the turtles just because I'm not a fan of the design. I know a lot of people do like it. All in all, I do really like this line. I was really surprised with it. Like I said, I only intended to buy Bebop and Rocksteady and ended up with much more as you can see. Leave me a comment. Let me know which of these figures you like the best. Uh, are there any other figures in the line that I haven't bought yet that you think I should buy? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think about the line all in all. And stay tuned for the Leo and Stealth Disguise. I will get that out as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these videos. A thumbs down if you don't. And I'll catch you next time.